upside down hug. I mean punch. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Juan Martinez of the Easy World Network, and we have got something very special here today. Uh, something that's actually very near and dear to me because it's none other than the Don't amazing Spider Man. You can say, tell me a story, tell Dude, me a joke, let's I'm trying to, practice our skills. Dude, I, I'm trying to say something. Let's fight some bad guys. Uh, oh, dude, let's go fight some bad guys. Bad guys, come on, let's do this. Yeah, with great power comes great responsibility. Damn Skippy. And also great butt whipping. No, what? No, that's not. Nothing passes the time quite like fighting some bad guys. Though you know what's kind of fun? Origami. It's very relaxing. Um, right. Let's uh, let's check the scanner. Okay, so what we've got here is the uh, Spiro Spider-Man. It's uh, dubbed an interactive app-enabled superhero, and it's priced at $149. It came out sometime last week. I guess this is tied into the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming movie, because they also dropped a uh, Lightning McQueen toy that is tied to uh, Cars 3. The toy itself is actually a really, really high-quality, nice-built toy. I thought it was like the size of a uh, Funko Pop. Like one of those bigger ones but it's actually bigger than that and it's a little bit more heftier because there's a lot more stuff going on inside the toy itself so very similar to a spiro's bb8 toy that came out a couple years ago to tie into the force awakens the packaging of the toy itself is actually very cool uh you got a nice premium box it feels like you're opening a pair of beats headphones and inside you've got basically everything you need to enjoy playing around with spider-man uh, you got your power base and then you've got your cord. Actually, you don't have everything Not how I remember you don't actually have like an AC adapter to plug in to the USB cord to actually power it up So you can either just hook it up to your computer laptop or you can find like a iPhone charger or something to connect the USB to actually hook it up, but once you're all set, then Spider-Man is pretty much good to go, and he's pretty awesome. Although, you know, just like any other toy, you kind of have to, like, work with it to really get the most out of it. Download the app and follow the on-screen instructions, okay? Thanks. So, setting up uh, Spider-Man isn't really that hard. It just takes a while to charge him up to get him all ready and good to go. But after that, um, you just need to hook it up to your smartphone. And then uh, Spider-Man itself is actually connected to your Wi-Fi network. And he will download a firmware update. Which is a sentence that I never thought I would ever Upside say. Upside down kick! <laughs> yeah, so that's actually going to happen quite a bit as Spider-Man's Spider, Spider -Man's on. He'll be talking. <laughs> Upside down punch! <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so if you've been a fan of Spider-Man for as long as I have, and that's actually quite a bit of a long time, you'll know that his greatest power and greatest responsibility isn't the fact that he can do whatever a spider can, it's the fact that he can't shut up. A few months back, I was having a hard time sleeping or... So, when's your birthday? July. A June kid, huh? So, what's the best birthday present you ever got? You. Me? <laughs> oh, I sincerely cherish our time together. Thanks for saying that. You know which? Wanna go smash Batty's face with me? Of course. Yeah. Come on, what do you want to do? Smash bad guys. So once you've set everything up, there's a variety of modes that Spider-Man can get into. Uh, you can have a conversation with him. You can get into adventures. He can tell you jokes. He can guard your room for you. Guard the room. No problem. I'm on it. I'll give you a few seconds to get out of here so I don't accidentally twip your butt. <laughs> Find the door or find my web in your face. Okay, that sounded so much cooler in my head, but seriously skedaddle or I'll web you up. And a bunch of other things, um, but a lot of it is actually based on the number of button presses you take on the uh, spider button right here. So if you press it once. Amazing dude. Hey, I got a chance to check the DMV records for the license plate number we got off that van we saw on patrol. It was registered to an old theater company. Problem is, nobody has heard from them in years. We should keep an eye out if we're ever patrolling in the theater district. On a side note, great job being so quick on your feet during that patrol. 
I saw the latest issue of the Bugle. It mentioned the burglary, but nothing about us being there. That headline would have read a lot differently if Jameson had caught wind of us being in the area. Really glad those cops never saw us. But if you press a button twice, uh, Spider-Man will actually go into a mode where he will do what you say, as long as you say it clear enough, which is sometimes not always the easiest thing to do. But, you know, it's a tech issue. Maybe that will be get fixed with a firmware update in the future. So, so let's try this. Spider-Man, tell me a joke. What is a duck's favorite dip? What? Quackamole. Oh my. <laughs> that one's a real thinker. Wow. <laughs> Spider-Man, let's go fight some bad guys. Yoo-hoo! Spider-Man, let's go fight some bad guys. Yoo-hoo! Let's patrol the city. The patrol? Good call! It's a beautiful day for a swing. Let's go! So, patrols are how we keep an eye on the city. Some days we may run into a crime in progress. Other days things could be pretty quiet. There's only one way to find out. Come on! Kinda wanna check out the sites that is the tourist trap called Times Square. I feel like I haven't been down there in forever. So there's a variety of different activities, stories, jokes, and a handful of others that you can unlock on the app. Um, when you unlock a new one, then a new image will actually pop up. And then there's also some secret um, activities and questions you can ask Spidey that aren't readily obvious and you actually have to ask Spidey directly uh, to unlock them. So let's try one. Spider-Man, do you know Iron Man? Yoo-hoo! Spider-Man, do you know Iron Man? Dude, I'm listening. Dude, do you know Iron Man? Do you know Iron Man? I do. Oh, man. If I could shoot arrows as quickly and accurately as Hawkeye, I'd be... I meant Iron Man, not Hawkeye. Well, I, I guess I'd be Hawkeye. Huh. Do you know Thor? Thor? Uh, do you mean my next-door neighbor Thor or the dude from the Avengers? The dude from the Avengers. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, Thor is awesome. Love that dude. Except he's always like, no one can lift my magic hammer. But this one time, I tried to pick it up, and I swear it moved a little. Thor says it was the ground shaking from the subway, but I know the truth. So priced at $149, it's a lot of money to ask, regardless of whether you're a casual fan or a Spider-Man super fan. Um, but you'll find a lot to enjoy. The toy itself is actually very much a high quality. And even if it never said a word, I think for some people it would actually be totally worth it. Especially with those awesome LED lights for eyes. So this is Juan Martinez of the Easyville Network. This is Spider-Man. Thanks for watching everybody. Learn more about the Easyville Network by going to patreon.com slash Easyville and subscribe there. Uh, we've got exclusive content, giveaways, and all sorts of good stuff on there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next thing. I mean, we'll see you at the next thing. What's up? Nothing much, dude. Would you mind saying that again? No, we're done. Does not compute. <laughs> Ask me something else. Uh. Whoa, I think I can see through time.